All right, welcome to the takeaway lesson tutorial for the World Citizen Core Program. This is level one. This uh, workshop is called The World Today, and the theme of this lesson is about one world, one destiny. So one world, um, one small world. You can frame it in different ways, but it's really about the mindset of we're all one world. So it ties into the world citizen philosophy that we are learning and living together. And the application, how people use what they learn here, is fostering global awareness and fostering environmental literacy. The civility competencies that are covered are social intelligence, cultural competence, continuous learning, and systems thinking. And world citizens are going to use what they learn, what's happening around them, to expand their worldview, to build perspective about the experience of others, and to better understand how world citizens can contribute to the world. So, for example, by recognizing and solving problems. So, uh, this is One World, One Classroom. This overall concept was um, borrowed from Global Knowledge Exchange, who is one of the originators of this global education platform. And you can visit worldcitizenalliance.com if you want to learn a little bit more about GKE. Um, in any case, the idea here is that, and I would call this a foundational lesson, is that we want to discuss the interconnectedness of the world today. And this ties to systems thinking. Um, most social and economic developments are having impact all over the world, not only because of outsourced economy, but other factors such as political stability, COVID-19, etc. So there's lots of application for this idea of uh, interdependence and interconnectedness. So um, the lesson incorporates, as the other lessons do, a little bit about the rationale, kind of the background of World Citizen, a little bit about, um, you know, this idea that we're a village, you know, that um, we, we often say things like the world is, or it's a small world, without really thinking about what that means. And um, as difficult as it's been, the COVID-19 pandemic has really taught us all about how what impacts one of us impacts all of us. Um, this would relate to resources. It would relate to things like pandemic. It would relate to economics. So uh, climate change. You know, there's all of these problems and issues and things that are happening in the world that impact all of us. So a further example, you know, we can consider these six critical issues. Um, this is from a Canadian site, but the fact is these are issues that impact the rest of the world. And for a larger picture view, you can look at the United Nation um, goals. And you'll see that it's very, very easy to see how um, we are all connected in very uh, significant ways in terms of uh, all of this, how it impacts us. All right, so um, we encourage you always to read through the lessons, to look at the links and the clips and the, you know, whatever you can find there so that you can make sure you know as much as possible about the topic. Keep in mind that your task is to co-facilitate, so it's okay to acknowledge that other people in the room may have some knowledge or information that you don't have. And always when we're teaching adult learners, we want to encourage them to share what they know and to participate and interact as well. So the objectives in this lesson are to understand today's world and how that impacts our universal welfare. Um, and we want to talk about embracing and integrating global issues in our thought and decision processes. So this lesson covers off a range of important essential skills as well as 21st century skills. They're all listed in the lesson you can review. Um, it might have been stated somewhere else, but all of these lessons were devised with uh, quite a bit of research and input from different representatives around the world, from different sector um, councils from different um, practitioners who were using World Citizen Messaging in different ways. 
Um, so we have our chart that shows you how we might break up the lesson in terms of the timeline. We have um, quite an extensive reading list and some YouTube clips on this topic, and we encourage you to review those, pick and choose which ones you like the best that you might incorporate into the lesson and so forth. We ask that have a handout as well, um, and the template is provided for you so that you can download and distribute with your groups. Um, in this case, we've got uh, an icebreaker, and there's a couple of options here. So this uh, icebreaker relates to pardon me, systems thinking and the idea that we're all connected. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can put participants into small groups and give them each group a flip chart and pens. Ask them to map out everything they do from the moment they wake up and then ask them to look at that list of things and attach to each thing that they do the systems involved in their day. So if they use an alarm clock, they rely on electricity. If they make toast, they rely on food production and a food supply system, a transportation system to get it to the grocery store. Um, if they take the bus or the subway, they rely on transit systems. So this is an easy way to introduce the concept of systems and interconnectedness. Um, and then you can ask them in the debrief what happens if one of the systems breaks down. Or you can find a large diagram of the human body and you can show people how we have all of these different systems in our body. And each system might have a different function, but they all also um, relate to each other. So if something goes wrong with our circulatory system, that's going to impact the other systems. Um, it's very uh, interesting and relatively easy way to introduce the concept of systems thinking. So there's some uh, links there. You can look at all those if, if you're interested in pursuing that conversation a little bit more. So in terms of the script, after we've done this icebreaker, we're going to talk a little bit about how many of us live in a small world and we don't realize uh, what's going on around us and how it impacts us or how we impact it. So we want to start a conversation about change and about systems, about technology, about what's going on in the world, global impact, and so on. Um, have we always thought about ourselves, or is this something that is new? Are people kind of hunkering down because they're scared of what's going on in the bigger world? Um, or are we actually actively seeking out opportunities to learn about the systems around us and the systems that we interact with? So there's some notes here about what you could talk about, global economy, cultural adaptations, human rights awareness, climate change, all of those things, how those, those issues have become sort of everyday conversation due in part to systems, you know, technology and advances in um, our ability to see and interact and learn uh, without having to leave our kitchen table, for example. Climate, industry, the travel industry, rather, there's a lot of topics. And you can use those, or you can devise some of your own. So then we're going to give out a handout, and we can ask individuals, or do it as group work if you like, give four or five minutes, and ask people to fill in the chart and write at least one negative effect that can be a, have an international thing related to it. And you can pick one example from our answer key. Um, and talk about it a little bit, or you can wait until somebody else offers up an idea. And what we're trying to do here is to show how, um, you know, one thing in one part of the world can impact other parts of the world, how something in one part of the country can impact the other part of the country, and how something like, you know, one action in a viral lab in one part of the world can impact the whole world, for example. So we want to make this um, connection about um, how our mindset about change, our willingness to look up and outward, to ask questions, to be curious, to um, engage in systems thinking, how um, this is going to help us see the connections. And we can go how, um, you know, we want people to understand how our worldview 
and how we see others in the world around us can really impact um, how we treat people and how we behave on a macro level. So um, there's an example here about worldview. We can talk about thinking globally. We can talk about world events. So how to build a healthy worldview. There's some tips here. And I would say um, give people about 10 minutes to go through this list and to be able to expand on it or ask them to create their own list. So we want to talk a little bit about, from a systems thinking point of view, how United Nations, World Citizen, it's all about problem solving. And so we need to be able to look at the world around us, look at the connectedness and see where we're abusing or misusing or underutilizing resources that we have and how can we use our experience and knowledge of current events and issues uh, even causes of current events and issues to resolve some of those problems so um, there's a, an opportunity to use a Kahoot which is an interactive tool with this lesson where you can add in you know you can put these questions and let people uh, use Kahoot. Um, you can Google how to use Kahoot, but it's basically people on their phones. It's like an interactive quiz on people's phone. Or you could use this quiz and treat it just sort of as an in-class quiz as well if you wanted to. So here we talk a little bit about genocides. We talk a little bit about, um, you know, what happens in terms of uh, drinking water, a little bit of stats and things about the United Nations so that just to raise awareness a little bit about some of these big issues. So um, we want to talk a little bit about global poverty, world hunger, some of those things. So there's, I believe, ten, uh, yeah, eight questions here, uh, ten questions here. Is there ten? Nine, yeah. Um, so it's a really good way to leave have people leave the session thinking uh, maybe they've learned something they didn't know um, there's a short quiz um, you know the different pandemics to give people a sense of everything that um, we've been dealing with in the world so once again this lesson if you review all of the resources if you look at the clips there's a lot of ways you can expand it um, it is critical that we're sensitive to the context and culture and the people in the classroom. So um, if we're in a country where there's just been a terrible tsunami, we're probably going to steer clear of some of that conversation unless it seems people are comfortable talking about um, natural catastrophes. Um, if we're dealing somewhere where there's a lot of refugees, there's been some war, uh, maybe we're going to be careful talking about some of those topics. But as long as people get the core message, that's the important thing. Thank you.